Today we're doing tomatoes, peaches, and corn. Again, it's summer. Get the very best of all of those ingredients that you can because that is the flavor of this dish. So we're gonna start by making a dressing to go with it. So I've got two tablespoons of a extra virgin olive oil. You could use another kind of oil, but this one's got a lot more flavor. So if you like the flavor of olive oil, go for it. Then I've got uh, one tablespoon plus one and a half teaspoons of white balsamic vinegar. Here you could use something like a champagne vinegar or a regular white vinegar. Again, it depends on what you have available and how much you want to run around looking for something that you don't have available. Adding to it one and a half teaspoons of honey. Get a little bit of sweetness. That's also going to come if you use the balsamic vinegar. Uh, and then a, just a tiny bit uh, of minced onion. This is just uh, about a half a teaspoon. And use a sweet mixed on minced onion if you can find one. I put all these in a little jar. You can put them in a bowl and whisk them really well, or you can do this and shake them until you get uh, at least a temporary emulsion. It's not gonna be anything uh, real permanent. I didn't add the pepper to this, but we'll add that a little bit later. So there's also a pinch of black pepper that you could put in at, at this point also. Next step. I've got two to three tomatoes that I've cut in wedges. It kind of depends on the size of the tomato and how many people you're trying to feed. Uh, you need about uh, two cups or so. I've got one large peach that I've cut into fairly large pieces. Uh, yeah, depending on the size of your ear of corn. These are uh, two ears, of, two small ears of corn. Now, the nice thing about corn these days, it used to be that you must cook your corn immediately or it's gonna lose a lot of sweetness. But a lot of the varieties that we have now have so much sweetness built into them during the breeding process that you don't lose the sweetness. They can last you for a, a couple of three days before they start to uh, go down. Now, the corn that I've added is actually raw. Uh, you could uh, have roasted corn, you could have uh, boiled corn that was left over, but uh, raw corn works equally well and may save you a little bit of time. Uh, we're going to stir those together just briefly, being real tender to try and protect those tomatoes. That dressing goes over the top. The pepper, if you didn't add it earlier, you can put in now. Stir that together. A little bit of salt. I'm just going to add a small amount so that we can taste it later and see how it is. If we need to add more, we can. That's all there is on this. The last thing will be to serve us up a nice portion here or to put it all on a platter. And then we're going to sprinkle about a half a cup of feta cheese over the whole thing. And again, very easy to do. If you were at home, you'd clean that bowl out. You don't want to leave any of it behind. Feta cheese goes over the top, and you have a salad that nobody is going to believe that was that quick to make. I hope you'll try it. It's tomatoes, peaches, and corn for Oklahoma Gardening. I'm Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.